These days, most people looking for work will look online for job postings. Initiatives Prince George is taking it one step further with an online job fair. The digital nature of the fair allows employers to cast a wider net for prospective employees. As for job seekers, the secret to success will be learning how to stand out. It's one-stop shopping for out-of-town job seekers, an online job fair. Applicants have access to dozens of positions at their fingertips, all with the click of a mouse. So when people are planning to move here for work, they, they want to know that it's a place that they can live and they want to... And employers know it's a place to work. So Initiatives Prince George has brought together local companies and new Canadians from Metro Vancouver. By doing the job fair online, we can connect job seekers in Metro Vancouver with Prince George employers without having to deal with any sort of travel. IPG's online job fairs were funded by the Immigrant Employment Council of BC. The last one in June saw almost 1,200 job seekers take part. The numerous and faceless competition makes an online first impression that much more important. Well, it's the magic of keywords, isn't it? <laughs> keywords and you know what they call site, um, you know, search engine optimization and such like that. So you're looking to figure out what your key job um, is described as and make sure lots of those words appear in your resume so when someone searches for something, you pop up. While it saves on travel costs and lets applicants browse positions easier, companies are taking the risk of hiring someone without ever meeting offline. And that's a tough bit. That's why I, it can't just be a machine-driven process. It's, there's there's got to be a personal piece here, but it does reduce the cost of HR because you don't have to fly people up here to check it out. You can start asking them questions. You can start figuring out who's got the right tickets, who's got the right um, approach. Risk or not, local companies need people, and new Canadians are typically unemployed or underemployed. Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal seem to be typical landing ports for new Canadians. Uh, so there's a, a, a higher unemployment rate in Vancouver and a lot of the new Canadians are highly skilled. 16 companies took part in Tuesday's job fair. Depending on the success and demand, there could be others coming to a computer screen near you. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.